So after assembling and filling the CO2 scrubber canister, we want to work on the head. Not my head, but the Megalodon head. The rebreather head of the Megalodon contains the main electronics, the battery compartments, the oxygen sensors and the solenoid. It is still somewhat apart because after diving the last time I took it apart so it can dry properly. Here we have uh, the, uh, oxy the, uh, the oxygen sensor sled with the sensors. Here we have the main electronics, here we have the battery compartments and here we have the solenoid which is the magnetic valve that injects the oxygen controlled by the electronics. So the, next, the first thing I want to do is uh, make sure that the sensor cables are attached properly while assembling the unit or while assembling the head. I'm always looking out for damage, deterioration, something loose, something that needs to be replaced. So while I have this sled in my head, I make sure the cables are attached, the sled looks good. There is one o-ring here, which is a gas o-ring. There's another o-ring at the bottom, which is a gas o-ring too. Assembling the sled, make sure it's not upside down. Make sure I don't pinch any cable, so the sled is in place. Next thing, I'm going to use one of these little sponges here, which will absorb any moisture, any excess moisture that has been forming right next to the oxygen sensors. There's a little slot here, and I just roll up this little spongy, and I put it right in here and it's sitting right there. Next thing is I'm gonna use this locking plate, make sure that it's clean, make sure the o-ring is inside here, and then I'm gonna assemble it and put the plate on. There's only one way you can put it on, pushing it down and locking it in place. Since I have two o-rings here, and these are very critical, uh, so the CO2 rich gas is going actually through the scrubber and not being bypassed, I need to do a positive and negative check on the head to make sure these o-rings are working properly. I'm using the palm of my hand, closing one hole and then blowing into and sucking out of this hole and I should not be able to blow through or suck in any air. That's good. It's a very crucial check we need to do. Then uh, looking at my head, I'm um, looking to make sure that the battery compartments are connected well, everything looks good. I'm going to look at the o-rings as well. These are the water o-rings that keep the water out of the unit. I'm going to make sure these work properly. They're not pinched. Uh, there's two gas o-rings here as well. They connect later on into the scrubber. The way it's going to sit inside the rebreather is just like that. This is going to be sitting inside that tube. And then the way it's going to go is we're going to inhale through the middle we're going to exhale through the side, so the exhalation gas is going on the outside, moving through while we inhale, moving through the middle, passing by the oxygen sensors, and then being inhaled. So now I'm going to take it apart again. So now that I have the head assembled, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the scrubber canister inside the unit. I'm going to put these little sponges in here. They're going down into the water trap, which is at the bottom of the tube. In case we get any water inside the rebreather, we will have these little sponges that can absorb a certain amount. And then we have the spacer here that keeps the scrubber off the bottom. Megalodon has different size tubes or cans. I'm using the cave uh, tube size, which is a little smaller. The regular size is about an inch or two and a half centimeter bigger. Everything remains the same, only the water trap is that much more. Okay. So now that I have the sponges in here, I look down at the bottom, make sure there's no cockroaches in there or mouses. All right, there's nothing in there. In goes the spacer. And the next thing is my freshly packed absor absorbent canister. All right. So I'm getting kind of close here to fire up the electronics. And uh, with the electronics, I, or with the activation or initiation of the uh, electronics, I'm going to calibrate the head. 